Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. There's a lot of vitriol out there regarding marriage. My content has a tendency to attract a lot of trolls, uh, and all good. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, and it's no skin off my teeth. I've got thick skin. It's all good. If you don't want to get married, don't get married. You can stay single. You are in control of your life. I'm not telling people what to do. You do you. A week ago, I did a video that talked about five big reasons why men still get married. You can find it here. Today, we're going to look at the opposite and talk about five big reasons why men don't get married. So here we go right into it. Number one, marriage is risky. Here's a quote that I got for one of my videos in the comment section. I'm just going to read it to you because I've seen this comment probably about a thousand times at this point in either my videos or other people's videos. It's basically copied and pasted. It's crazy for men to get married now. Women benefit from breaking the marriage contract. 50% of marriages fail and the women will take half of your stuff and your kids. Would you bet your life on a 50-50 chance? I don't know how many times I've seen comments like that. It's been a lot. You do you. Everybody's got an opinion and you can let it rip, tater chip. It's all good for me. So you mean to tell me if you meet a beautiful woman that clicks all of your boxes, she's a great person and she's super into you, there is zero chance of you marrying her? You do you. But here's a simple question for you. Is that fair to her? I don't recommend guys like this starting relationships until you've worked on your mindset. If you think you're a victim, you're going to be a victim. If you go into a relationship thinking it's going to fail, it's probably going to fail. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Life is inherently risky, y'all. There's no way to risk-proof your life. Yes, when you take a chance, there's a risk involved. Usually things worth doing are a little risky. Big risk equals big reward a lot of times. If life takes a dump on you, deal with it, learn from it, and move on. There's no need to wallow in the muck and stay angry. You always have options no matter how bad things may seem. Marriage has worked wonderfully for me based on many factors, but the big three is one, I dated a lot of ladies when I was younger, I went through relationships, long-term relationships, casual relationships. I did all of those things when I was younger. And when I made mistakes, I learned from them. Breakups happen, heartbreak happens. I learned from it and moved on. That's number one. Number two, I knew I had wife material when I met my wife. She clicked all of my boxes. She's a good person. She, had, she came from a good family. She's a very nice person very loving, very caring, very nurturing, super sexy. I knew she was wife material because of my dating experience. And number three, I'm always trying to be a better dude, better husband, better man, better father. I've always been into self-improvement throughout my whole life. I try to be the best version of myself possible. And my wife meets me in her efforts as well. She tries to be the best version possible as well. And she matches my effort. And it's a beautiful thing. That being said, I get where you're coming from. And I don't blame you. If you just want to date and try to make a living, make money, do, do your thing. I, I don't judge. It's all good. It's your life. But if you're looking to drastically stack the odds in your favor when it comes to marriages and relationships and dating and women and purpose and career, subscribe and stick around. That's, that's exactly what I do here. I'm not going to give up on y'all. So that's the first reason why guys don't get married is because it's risky. I get it. Number two, some guys just want to stay single. They value personal space over all else. They want to be a lifelong bachelor. Live it up. It's all good. I'm not judging you. And I get that reasoning as well. One thing that I've noticed with, uh, with the younger generations, millennials, Gen Z's, is 
this trend towards minimalism where they try to survive on as little as possible. That means little square footage for your house. And in some cases, some people actually fix up a bus or uh, an RV travel, mainly because younger people are having a trouble with modern economics. Inflation's out of control. Food is expensive. A lot of guys are coming out of, out of college with, with a heavy amount of debt. Maybe not exactly the most practical degree. Well, you're going to have to live on less. And they want to stay single because they think that they can't afford a relationship or marriage. I get that. And I totally empathize with you. I honestly don't think that people want to be alone or they choose to be alone. Some people do, but I think it's fairly rare. And you can easily choose to do that. That's your choice. The only person that really truly cares about you is you. One of the biggest factors that I see quite often it, when I'm talking to younger people uh, in relationship groups, or even actually my, my nieces, nephews, even my daughter and my son, Gen Z doesn't really have any idea how to date. Dating is totally different than it was when I was younger. I'm a Gen X guy, latchkey kid. We learned as we went and it was pretty traditional dating back then. Now, Phones, social media, all of that stuff has completely changed the game and not for the better. I think that's one of the big factors that's driving the, the MGTOW and the incel trend. If you don't know what MGTOW and incel are, uh, MGTOW is men going their own way. They're choosing to opt out of the dating realm completely. And incels are guys that want to date but can't for whatever reason. So involuntary celibate is what that means. They say they're opting out, but but a lot of them really want a relationship. Some don't, I get that. But from the comments that I get, it just seems like a lot of people do want relationships. Why else would they click on marriage isn't dead? You know, if, um, that's just my idea. Not everybody's like that, but that's just something that I've noticed. Many Gen Z dudes can't attract quality women. And vice versa. So Gen Z women actually have a tough time attracting marriageable men. Vice versa. It goes both ways. That's one of my main focuses with my channel and my material. So if you want help with this kind of thing, men and women, stick around, subscribe, join my private Facebook group, Marriage Isn't Dead, and I'll help you. I've got plenty of other people in the group that can help you as well. We're all available to you, uh, including my wife. But really, when it comes down to the MGTOW and the incel people, I really think that they, they want relationships. I don't really think they want to be alone, but they just choose to be alone because they just don't want to play the game. You know, why play the game if you can lose? That's their mentality. Well, if, if you have that same mentality, well, if you don't play the game, you can't win either. And I'm not giving up on y'all either. So that's number two. People just choose to be single. Number three, easy access to sex has deterred men from getting married. Dating apps, social media, it's changed the world for, especially for high quality guys. If you find yourself in the top 20% in attractiveness, whatever you want to call it, uh, if you're successful, good looking, uh, if you've got your stuff together, you will have no shortage of ladies who are want to knock on your door, whether it be through social media or wherever. Um, but social media is a big driving factor for this. I mean, Instagram essentially is a dating app nowadays, uh, not to mention all the other dating apps that are actually designed for that. But dating apps have completely changed the game for attractive males. To them, they don't see the point of getting married because they have easy access to sex and they don't see the point of marriage. Well, what happens when you get older and you don't, and by the time you hit age 45, 50, no kids, no family, it, things change for you a little bit with your mentality. I'm just, that's just a warning as a 22 to 30 year old, knock yourself out, date, figure out what you really like. You do you. So that's the third reason why guys don't get married anymore. They have easy access to sex. Number four, 
They're disheartened from past relationships. People get hurt in relationships. It's pretty much a natural thing. And there are three kinds of people when it comes to, to getting hurt in a relationship. One is the folks that get hurt and they completely step out of the game and as a defense mechanism. Uh, bitter is the name for them, uh, and they love to play the blame game. Uh, they have a tendency not to like to look in the mirror to see what they've done wrong uh, and take some of the blame themselves. They have a tendency to blame others. That goes for guys and gals. They also have the tendency to be the people that drop comments on my stuff and my content. Keep it coming. Uh, it's a free country. I've got thick skin. It's all good. Bring it. Okay. Uh, I'm here to help y'all. The second type of person when it comes to, to getting hurt in relationships are people who date whomever they can and they try to fix the person that they're dating. I got news for you. People don't change unless they want to change. You can't make them change. So the person that you meet when you begin a relationship is typically the person that they're going to be. Focus on fixing yourself and your mindset if that rings a bell for you. When you make yourself a better person, you change your mindset, you become more attractive, and you have a tendency to attract better partners. That's the second person. The third person when it comes to hurt is folks who date, they get hurt, they learn from the mistakes, and they move on. Very few people marry the first person that they begin to date. It's natural to get hurt. Pain is your greatest teacher and creates the most change in people. Those are the folks that do pretty well in marriage. They've dated around, they understand what they want, they recognize the red flags, they recognize the green flags, they understand who's a husband material, who's wife material, and those are the folks that have pretty decent marriages. That's what I want for you. I want you to be that third person. So that's number four. People that get disheartened in relationships bow out and don't get married. So number five, broken family background. I see this often in coaching. Not everyone has a positive view of family. Someone can grow up with abuse, neglect. They don't see the value in, in families and they figure what's the point. Broken families can have a devastating effect on someone's psyche. On the flip side of that, there are people out there that grow up in an, in an environment like that and they choose, they actually refuse to follow in the footsteps of their parents and choose to work on themselves and reparent themselves. I see that often. My father's side of the family was like that. He had five siblings, grew up in a very difficult situation, didn't have a whole lot, and they struggled. And all of those kids went on to have great families in adulthood, including my father. So some people are disheartened by this kind of thing. Not all. As a matter of fact, I think it's more rare for guys to not really want a relationship or, or marriage. But a lot of the guys that you see on the internet are typically the, the negative Nancys. The, the negative people are typically the loudest people on the internet. So... In my opinion, most people want to connect with other people. So in closing, most guys want to have a stable relationship, but a lot of them just don't know how. Stick around and I'll help you. I'm speaking directly to you. If you find yourself wallowing around, not really understanding what a, a healthy relationship looks like, I'm here for you. That's what this channel is all about. So if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Join the free private Facebook group, Marriage Isn't Dead, and let us help you. So as always, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.